Hi, this is 5445 Painted Gorge. And uh, pleasantly surprised with it so far. Before I go inside, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of take a little walk around here. The first thing that jumped out of me is it, it appears to be either uh, once upon a time a three car garage or there was like a third bay of the garage that was optional. And it looks like they've got that one converted. So you got this great big driveway. There's probably room for four to five vehicles across here, depending on how big your vehicles are. Plus a two car garage, easily like boat parking, RV parking, which goes all the way back to a shed. This is, yeah, I mean, you could park two bar, you could park a boat and an RV <laughs> or two RVs. Anyway, um, even if even if extra RV parking, boat parking isn't your thing, um, what's great about it is that it's so rare and it's really nice to have on resale. When it's time to sell the property, there's almost always a market for RV parking, true RV parking, not just a little bit of space where you can barely squeeze an RV back there, but like a nice spacious place to park uh, recreational vehicles of, of different kinds uh, is very valuable. A lot of people look for it and that's all they want because they have an RV and uh, you need a house just like this for it. No HOA because most HOAs will have a restriction against it and like a paved or a cemented uh, slab with space so you're not bumping your RV into the house and all that. Over here on this side is a giant big piece of the lot that's devoted just to the pool. You can see it's gated off over there for safety. It's already gated off. And then you got a, you got a big hot tub there, small pool. And I'm guessing that's the pool equipment there or something. Nope, the pool equipment's over here. So. We'll get in the backyard, we'll see what's behind this little fence. Maybe it's just a storage area. The, the textured concrete's in good condition and the yard's pretty simple with just some desert landscaping, mostly rocks. Really easy to care for. You can see there's irrigation here for drip lines. There's a, there's a control box for the irrigation, but really the only, the only foliage out here is an ash tree. Looks like an ash. Security screen door right there at the front. As you come in, you got a nice high ceiling in this area with ceramic tile floors, which is really nice. keeps keeps it nice and cool. I've got that in my house. It is worth the extra cost to have the ceramic floors. They're easy to clean. It lasts forever. It keeps it nice and cool. Uh, a big, sort of a medium sized kitchen here with um, <laughs> a suite. I think they call this bowling lane uh, countertop. So this is really recycled bowling lanes, kind of like a parquet, a cutting board type of countertop on the back here. It's kind of cool. And the uh, cabinetry looks newish. It's kind of a two-tone setup, white, or kind of an eggshell white, some glass in, in some of them. And then you got a, a gray down here. This looks like faux marble. So the appliances have got a little bit of wear and tear on it, but not much. Everything's in pretty good condition here. So that, that kitchen could be opened up. Obviously this, this uh, whole area is not connected to anything. It's not supporting the load of the roof. So this whole thing could be ripped out. You got plumbing and gas in, the, in here, but this could be reconfigured on a renovation, do something cool with it. Not every house can say that because a lot of times you got walls here that are supporting the roof, so you're kind of stuck with whatever you got. So you got a bedroom right here in the front of the house. Walk in closet. All tile floors throughout. You can see um, it's probably changed out at different times. They're a little bit different, but they're similar. There's the laundry. There's some bedrooms back there. Let's see. So here's the laundry. So yeah, 
I think originally you probably would have seen essentially the entrance to the garage here or probably entrance to the laundry. Is there gas back here? I always want to know, people always ask. Yeah, there's a gas line there. And you got a 220 plug. Everything looks fine. So probably, what I'm guessing is you used to have a door here going into the garage, and this would be the third single, single bay of the three car garage, but it's been converted to a kind of a low ceiling game room. There's no closet in here, so technically it's not a bedroom, but it's quite large. You probably got 25 to 30 feet long by 12 to 15 feet wide uh, with a window and perfect for like a game room or a playroom for children or something like that. Here's a two car garage, access to the attic there, a little workbench over here on the side. Looks like there might have been a, a repair of some kind. Oh yeah, looking over here, there's a whole area here that looks like it's been, it might have even been recently updated. So this may suggest uh, uh, a roof issue that was hopefully corrected, and then the visible signs of some water damage here, uh, patched over in this area and then painted over. But that's something to explore on due diligence. There's an insulated garage door. A Ryobi. You don't see those very often. And then you got a big gas water heater here. Not bad. Yeah, it looks like perhaps there was some water damage here. It could just be normal repairs, the house settling. Uh, it's not necessarily something to worry about, even if it is water. If the repair was done properly, uh, it's not a big deal. It's pretty normal. Good luck having a house that doesn't eventually need a roof repair. So we'll come down here. Another bedroom, big high ceiling in this room. Looks like there's a little, little damage in the tile right there. That, that, uh, you wanna get it some uh, grout in there or, or replace that tile if you can so it doesn't get worse. And uh, I don't know, if it gets bad enough, it might become a hazard. Cut your foot on it or trip. There's the bathroom, so. Looks like the, the sort of uh, plastic shower kit was added at a different time. It's a slightly different color than the tub, but it doesn't look too bad. In the uh, old school, this is like 1990s, Viva 90s countertops. Another bedroom, quite, quite roomy, big high ceilings. Small closet in here, but this would be great for a bedroom, extra bedroom. Here's the master suite, looks like. Let's get some lights. So you got immediately a walk-in closet here. I don't see the light. There we go. And you got more attic access, so probably you got a, a furnace and indoor portion of an air conditioner up there. The master suite's quite large. What is this about? Probably uh, 20 by 22-ish. Just eyeballing it, nice high ceiling, big fan in the middle of the room. Got uh, our first sign of some possible test activity, it looks like, whatever that is. Maybe not, maybe that's just some trash. I thought it was a, thought it was a roach. I don't think so though. I mean, second, on a closer inspection, it was not once alive. Let's get a light in here. Where's the lights? There you go. So the shower's kind of in a funky location. I shouldn't say that. I mean, it. I would expect to see some glass around it with a door, but I guess you could you could just shower there with no glass. But normally you'd see glass on this deal, and probably you could add that without too much trouble.
And there's kind of a, I don't know. They get different names. I think the, the fashionable name for these tubs nowadays is Soaker. <laughs> yeah, the, the vanity, the bathroom, the dual vanity um, countertop is it's gonna be original. Toilets in there, looking just fine. It almost looks like the paint was possibly updated right here. You can see how it doesn't quite match up with the seam along this edge. And uh, the reason why I keep looking at that is because it, where the shower is, you get a lot of steam and it'll affect the paint right there. So it looks like this may have been touched up for resale, which is normal, but you'd want to make sure that we get a home inspector who can check for moisture. You could get a moisture meter on that and it'll tell us if there's latent moisture in the wall. There's a missing uh, smoke detector there. Not a huge deal, but there, there are appraisers who will call that a safety issue and they'll hold up the sale until it gets replaced. Let's go outside. Yeah, nice big pantry here, that's nice. For whatever reason, a lot of Las Vegas houses don't have a lot of like extra sort of pantry storage in the kitchen, so it's nice to have it. Yeah, there's more right here, two pantries even. There's a fair amount of cosmetic little things, but overall this is a well-kept house. This looks like electric, if anything. Kind of walked by it a couple times. Oh no, this gas. So it hooks up to a gas line there, so it's just a little uh, fireplace feature with gas. Older sliding door, but that's got good rollers on it. Oh, there we go. And just outside the slider, you got a, one of these awnings that's been added. It's not attached to the house, I don't think is actually good it's not supposed to be and um, but it's got electricity running to it there's fans in it so it's plugged in and it looks like there's some extra strip lights running around on the inside right here so that's kind of cool nice little spot to chill in the evenings and there's uh, curtains to close it off there's another one here just outside the slider at the or not a slider it's a French door at the master suite. So then we got just a little breezeway back here. Let's see if the key to the front door. Oh, it does work. Oh, this is just essentially another little garage. But um, it's not insulated, built out with plywood as an extra little garage or workspace. And a storage shelf there. Not much to it. Oh look, extra tile for inside. That had that bedroom with the uh, with the broken tile. You got extra tile here, so you could just chop it out or or take out a few of them and replace them. Have a handyman do it. Whatever. That's nice. Yeah, there's electric running in there. Don't think that's the code, or it's got a broken conduit on it. Is that electric? Yeah, it's got it's got power coming in here. So there's 120 volt power coming in there. And it looks like it's been done by an electrician, but the exposed wire kind of suggests maybe it was a, a DIY deal, or maybe the code's different for garage spaces. But the conduit and the wire is exposed down there. The exterior of this has got some uh, flaking paint on it. It's ready for an update. And that's kind of a suggestion that the exterior on the main house is going to be similar. Let me get this closed here. Yeah, there's a little bit of that here too. You can see on the flashing at the fascia, there's a little bit of flaking paint. And then, I don't know if it comes through on the video so much but it is a little bit uh ready for a paint job you can see the door jam it's got some flaking paint on it too so 
This one probably needs a paint job. If, if not now, then soon. There's the RV parking. There's one condenser sitting there. I don't recognize that brand, so it's probably an off-brand. Not a big deal, as long as it's running well. Let's go see the other side here where the pool is. I'm curious about that fenced-in area. So this is already closed off with a, a gate. Let's see if I can outsmart it. Maybe it's locked. Oh, it's locked. Okay, the gate's locked. So the mystery of that fenced-in area will prevail. It wins. And uh, I can see from here, the pool looks like it's in good shape. I'll jump around. I don't want to try to launch my 6'3 my body over this little flimsy gate, but it's good enough to hold, uh, not my weight, but it'll hold, uh, it'll keep children out. I'll get over around to the front and see if I can get in that side gate. We'll see what's going on here. I don't want to accept defeat at the hands of the fenced in area back there. I want to know what it is. Let's see. Oh. Grabbing victory from the jaws of defeat here. Well, it looks like we got a little irrigation. This is, I don't know if it comes through, but this is, this is all gunky and wet. There's standing water here and it looks like it's been that way for a while. So you got some low voltage electrical and it, it looks like a little uh, a valve for irrigation and it's, it's broken, it's leaking into the ground right there. Definitely something to get fixed. a pool pump you got some exposed low voltage wiring here as well this could be done a little bit better with the wiring but uh, overall it doesn't look too bad and maybe that's me just being super picky but almost certainly a home inspector is going to catch that and call it safety related let's see the condition of this pool it's small small pool but it looks like it's in good shape and it looks like it's been cared for maintained pretty well that's a, good, that's a nice pool good shape the cool deck it looks almost brand new come around here what is this oh it's a little garden okay sweet that's a pleasant surprise so probably there's going to be irrigation rigged up over here it's got some lighting so there's probably electrical as well here somewhere Unless those are just decorative. But it looks like it's been once upon a time with growing something over here. Now there's a little bit of weeds coming in. But um, I'm kind of sucker for that. I got If you check out a Instagram profile called Desert Grown Greens. That's my friend Riley. He's got a giant, it's almost like commercial scale uh farm production in his backyard but i think it's really cool because my grandfather used to grow food in his backyard so i've always had a i've always liked that even though i don't do it okay let's get back inside we'll see what the house is listed for i want to say six hundred thousand. i think it's got a five on the front let's see so this is 5445, 5445 Painted Gorge Drive. It's on market for 599999 I always think that uh, that is the same as 600000 And uh, it must fool somebody into thinking it's, it's priced in the 500s because <laughs> everybody does it. Uh, anyway, uh, overall, I think this is a great house. This one's a pleasant surprise. The combination of big lot, plenty of space in here, RV parking, the converted third bay of the garage, and really the only value-related issue I saw was paint. Uh, there's possible 
lingering roof issue above the garage, but it's above the garage. And it looks like the, the, there was some effort went into repairs there, so it's probably already uh, taken care of. But those are the only value-related things. Possible roof issue, that's probably not value-related, by the way, but the paint will be. That'd be several thousand dollars. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. 5445 Painted Gorge. Have a nice day.